Hello, my name is Stephen Akufu from the GEOS team, and I'm here with Nicholas Rubin and Curtis Edwards. And today we're here to talk about Apex and uh, why Michael Dell thinks Apex is going to be the future of Dell technologies. There are a couple of things that we want to kind of hit today. We're thinking about talking about what is Apex, why is Dell doing Apex, and what are some of the initial offers? So um, Nick, if you want to take a start of what is this Apex stuff that we keep talking about all the time? Yeah, so um, Apex is our Dell portfolio as a service. Um, the initial kind of uh, foray into Apex is a limited offering, but the plan is that we have our broad spectrum of Dell Technologies products that are a part of the Apex portfolio so that customers are able to go and consume uh, a variety of products and services that we have to offer as a company. I know like we're going to start using the, the, the buzzwords like oh, it's going to give us more agility, it's going to give us more flexibility and all of these things. But what about Apex is actually different? Here it is. So, you know, first and foremost, let's, let's just put some numbers out there, right? So IDC, well-respected, predicts that by 2024, that more than 75% of, of infrastructure and applications and more than half of the data center infrastructure will be consumed as a service, right? And you look at another well-respected company out there, Gartner. Gartner predicts that by 2024, or 20, is it 2024 or 2023? Soon, 43% of newly developed storage capacity will be consumed as an OPEX model versus a CAPEX model, which will be pretty much less than 15% from just 2020, right? So that's the, 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 the core from a marketing numbers, IDC Gartner respected, respected groups as to what they predict. But ultimately, our customers' needs are changing. We have seen our customers go from looking at spinning rust, as we used to call it, right? Looking at the drives, looking at an individual drive and knowing that an in, individual drive can do 120 IOPS. And then we got with, uh, we got to, and so um, all of a sudden, no one cared anymore about IOPS. And then exactly right. Yeah. Suddenly, no one cared anymore about IOPS. And then we started focusing on, well, what what is my hardware platform? Is it is it a VMAX? Is it a power store? Is it a power max? Like what what is it? Right? Give me the specs. Give me all this stuff. Turn all these knobs. Right. And we shifted from there and said, you know what? Let's make it even easier. Right. All flash came into play. Things became much easier. NVMe came into play. Then it became. Should I use NVMe? Should I use all flash? Like what, what is my, what is my medium that I'm going to be putting my data on? Transition. How much do I want to remove that out of the, the minutiae of thinking? Exactly. Right. So each transition that we've had and, and those, these, these products that I'm talking about are excellent products in their own right, but various customers are starting to look for the buzzwords that you said, right? Things need to be easier. Things need to be more agile. I don't really care as a customer anymore about what the actual hardware is. I don't even really want to, for, for some of these things in my environment, I don't want to manage it. Heck, for some of it, I don't even want it in my data center. I want it somewhere else, but I don't want it out there in this magical cloud world, world where I don't really know where it is, right? So it's, it's, it's huge for us to think about delivering to our customers an outcome versus focusing uh, with our customers on a product, right? So now our customers can kind of spend much more of their time, less worried about physical hardware and the drives and the network connectivity and this, that, and the other, and they can spend more time focused on the application. You said something there that um, this wasn't going to, they didn't want things to be in the cloud somewhere. Wouldn't this connect with the cloud in some of its uh, offers? Yeah, it, it, it will connect with, with the cloud in some of its offers. But when you really, when you, peel that onion back a little bit. There are some customers that they don't care if their data is say, I'm just gonna throw it out there, AWS, right? They don't, but they don't know where the data is. They don't know what their data is on. They don't, they, don't, they don't really care, so to speak, but other customers now have requirements that say, my data needs to stay on-prem. My data needs to be in my colo. My data needs to be in a secure colo, not just in somebody's hands in some part of the world. I also think that, you know, it's worth calling out that, like, as we've seen customers move to the cloud, 
because of its inherent simplicity of, you know, ordering and not having to worry about those things, but then feeling the effects of, you know, high cost, you know, performance is not as good. Um, and as technology has progressed over the last decade from a data center infrastructure perspective, customers are able to start bringing things back on prem. And exactly. this just kind of gives them the best of both worlds, right? It's, it is that cloud-like consumption, but still having dedicated hardware in the data center. Um, and, and taking one step about further, it. Nick, oh, go for it. Yeah, taking it one step further on the, on that thought process, you know, you, you bring in stuff back on prem, but the customers still want that feel of that cloud approach, right? So they they still like that monthly, you know, I don't have to do a, a capital expenditure. I could potentially do something that's slightly different. Maybe an OPEX model actually works excellent for them and they want to consider that. That's where Apex starts to really shine. Yep. Being able to deliver that that on-prem capability while at the same time giving an operational expenditure type model for purchasing. I'm going to come to thinking about it before we kind of go into um, some of the initial offers. Rather than spending our time doing a whole bunch of front-loaded design and sizing sessions, figuring out the exact NIC card, the exact hard drive, maybe even like the specific um, um, uh, software defined you're going to be using. You just accept the fact that Dell Technologies has a broad portfolio. We are really good at doing this. We want to get around some of the logistics challenge of the world. We can deliver to you what you need. And you just need to focus on what you're going, you're going to run on it. That's kind of how I've been thinking about it. So Nick, do you want to run us through some of the initial offers? Yeah, so um, we have three main product categories. We have our um, data storage as a service catalog where we offer block and file services uh, from a storage perspective. And then we also have our Apex cloud services portfolio, which is inclusive of our Apex hybrid uh, cloud service, our Apex private cloud service, and then um, uh, we have our uh, flex on demand and data center utility um, options as well, which really provide a very broad spectrum of solutions that customers can configure and then wrap that uh, subscription based uh, model around from a financial perspective, but have the ability to choose what they want. Uh, we do have an offer that is debuting in January uh, known as our um, the VMware Cloud on uh, Dell EMC from an Apex perspective, which offers managed services uh, around an on-prem stack of gear that per just takes it really a step further from a managed services perspective. So, so all of Dell's portfolio is not available on Apex yet, right? That's what you're saying. Right. It sounds not all like of it. there's a, a subset and we're going to crawl, walk, run, right? So this is a um, uh, basically a marathon, not a sprint, right? We're going to start out with the best of breed products, uh, turn those best of breed products into a, as a service offering, put the infrastructure and the teams and all the goodness of Dell behind those, and then get that off the ground up and running and start to slowly over time, bring in more of the Dell products into the as a service offering. Like, thanks guys for like spending time with me. What I think we should do is next time when we meet, we I want to talk about how you can kind of match the particular offerings to the applications that you might want to put on them, right? So how do we start moving away from worrying about the hardware and how you size the hardware to being front loaded with your application and design sizing? So I think that's a, a good topic to start up next time. And um, yeah, I think we'll we'll do that. Thanks, Stephen. Thanks, Stephen.